So you want to do this one last, especially if you want to collect. If you think you're ha if you have trouble during this game, collect blast shards before you do this mission, because you will, you will be accessible to all of the places. While and while um, it's dangerous to go to these locations, it's best to uh, do it now because they're not going to be as much of a pain in the ass as it will after this mission. Boys in here, Moya. Just a dead woman. Mm. Now, this is a weird power Cole has, and I personally think it's stupid. Reapers! No! Leave my husband alone! Where are you taking him? Brandon! Whoa. What just happened? I had a vision. The Reapers kidnapped Brandon. This is his wife, Lene. I can see the echo of someone running away. Follow it. We need to find out what happened. This is basically one of the only times you actually use this power. There's one other time that I can think of, but other than that, nope. So we have to follow it, and uh, if you get away and lose your place, it will, um... You just have to find its location again, so, yeah. Now, be careful. Once you get to a certain location, don't just keep following them. You need to stop and actually pay attention. Because over here, we're seeing a new kind of Reaper, which is a, which is a conduit. It is going to be a psychic one. Damn. See, look, headshock, fucking nothing. This is a Reaper that has psychic powers. Conduit defeated. See? And we got more points for that. Fuck you. So be careful. That actually killed me the first time I played because I wasn't paying attention. Because I'm looking at the actual guy and the location, because keep in mind, you can see the little dot on the map. But, um, yeah. There's three different forms of enemies in this game, and uh, they all have their own form of, um... They have their own form of shit, and goddammit. That's a lot of fucking reapers. Hey! Hiding behind that car, possibly not a good idea, and ye. Thanks for the health. Why aren't you dead yet, motherfucker? Come on, get down. No, die! So, yeah. Uh, I do have a complaint about this game, which I know seems... It's gonna be very rare to hear me complain about this game. But if there's one thing I hate in this game, it's the simple fact that the fucking people in this game are so goddamn stupid. Like, something bad goes on, they head for the direction of the blast. Also, here's the flying thing in effect. And Blast and Bolt is a stunt you can do when you blow them up in the air and, um, kill them. Blast and Bolt. Probably an easier way than shooting them off the bridge or something like that, or, or shockwaving people off a of location, so, yeah. So, Alright, let's follow this thing and get back on track. Pick up your damn phone. What the hell you want, Zeke? What's up? I don't know, Zeke, but if we want to be out of here, this is the way it's got to be. Come on, man, don't be stupid. They'll ride you as long as they can, but the second you're no longer useful, bam, you vanish. Permanently. I think all that conspiracy stuff has rotted your brain. Hey, hey, don't kill the messenger, brother. I'm just telling him like it is. You watch your back. Alright, so they probably could have made Zeke talk to us a little bit further back, but whatever. So then, this whole fucking power plant area is surrounded by reapers. And it is highly explosive. So, go fucking nuts. Inbury takedown fucking everywhere. And, uh, but after the original Inbury takedown and shit... Gonna have some issues, oh god. By the way, you can conduct electricity off of this. Laugh out loud. Ah, shit. Lol. Oh, conduit defeated just by pushing him off a cliff. Ain't that lucky. Now, if we can only use electricity around here, all we would have is that, and that'd be a pain in the ass. So, uh, be careful.
God damn, these motherfuckers just don't give up. Lol. So, I uh, don't really know much to say again. Getting our asses kicked. Tell you that much. But, uh, yeah, no, be careful. I, I recommend going up here because staying down there is a pain in the ass. And we could probably go further right now. I believe that'll be the last one we have to kill, though, so. Can we reach him from over here? Yes, we can. Fuck off. You still not dead yet. Boom. Lol. Hmm. Seems like, seems like there's a Reaper left over there. Alright, motherfucker, come out from whatever you're doing with your electrical doohickey. Ah, oh, motherfucker. Fuck you. I think you can catch me off guard. You did, but I'm not gonna do anything. Alright then, you fucking Reapers, bring it on. Holy shit! Did he just do a fucking suicide? What the hell? Alright, so... Fucking hell, that music. Something I haven't talked about in this game, and I really should. The music in this game is, while not something you would listen on its own, is actually very unique. Oh, is that where we have to go? Where do we have to go? Why no game tell me where I need to go? Seriously, the game usually tells me what the fuck. Oh, we still have to do the echo thing. Okay, so, um... But be the fuck careful, because in these dark areas, there's barely anything to take electricity from. Alright then, so basically we gotta go down this manhole. I know, a different area. But the music in this game is interesting. It's actually been made from, like, doing weird things. To make the music. So we got to this weird thing, but anyway, I just want. What I'm looking for. Yep. So anyway, I wanted to uh, talk about it real fast. The music in this game is very interesting. Apparently, they made a lot of the music by actually looking at a lot of industrial areas with like broken down cars and shit. And a lot of the music is like supposed to be kind of sounding like it's been playing off a lot of vehicles. Like they in one of the videos they have that I actually have on the PlayStation um, thing that I downloaded. Basically, it's like they were using like cars as drums and stuff. A very interesting way to do the music, and I have to really commend them. Now then, now we have to reestablish this current. We're going to be doing this a lot, these next few uh, things. This is going to be the best thing you run into. Because when, when we reestablish it, we get a new power. Art Constraint. Pulse Heal. Bio Drain. These are new abilities which we use when we go near someone, I believe, push the R1 button. Please, you gotta help me. So basically when we go near this guy, now usually the square in circle do something else, but because we need to do something special, we have to do this. We can only use one thing, so basically, don't worry. So push R1 and then do that. Healing touch! A, a lot of experience and you get good karma for it. Your main way of getting karma, good karma in this game. Assholes. The transformers back on. Now what? Start the distribution substation by charging up the voltage regulator mounted to its front. That should be enough to get the power back on. So basically, these underground areas are first we reestablish the circuit to help give us our new power. Then we use our new power to continue Man, on through this place. Suck having to live down here. Oh yeah. So now we have to use art constraints. To do a live capture, which is good. You guys are assholes. Holy shit. Boom. So 
So now we're healing these guys for a lot of experience and uh, for a lot better karma. Now then, when you do art constraints, basically it's good, but if you art constrain them, then kill them. Execution, another point. Uh, I find it to be extremely interesting that they actually put that in there. And God, you guys are... Yeah, people are fucking weird. No, you can't just, like, heal the same person over and over again. But sometimes people just fall over, they're, like, dead. So now we're going to show you Bio Leech. And uh, this is interesting. Basically, we have to tap it quickly. And when we suck it up, we are completely healed. And all of our blast cores are completely filled. So basically, we suck the energy out of people. Um, very interesting way to do it, I have to say. Sucks to uh, be cool, I have to admit. I mean, it's just... It just sucks. It's, like, odd because, um... It's not really his fault that any of this shit happened and he's getting blamed by it by Trish. And, uh, that sucks, I have to admit. Now, though, when people fall down in the water, you can shoot the water right away and it kills them automatically. I'd like to show it off, but something tells me they're not gonna fall in anytime soon. But, uh, yeah, oh shit. No, 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 just die. Just die. Okay, good. But anyway, if you don't want to have to bio leech, just fucking kill a body and do this glitch or trick or whatever. I, I'm, I'm considering it just an oversight. But yeah, just kind of do this. And uh, if you want to be good, and you just you don't have to bio leech. He. By the way, falling in the water, bad thing, as I've already said. So, um. Yeah, these reapers, so... Boom. Live capture, and I believe we should probably get more karma for that. Ooh. You gotta make some pretty big jump jumps. Jumps here, but uh, I'm just gonna say, don't be afraid to make them. That's not really that hard. It might seem threatening at first, but, you know, Cole's a nimble guy, he'll get around it, so don't worry. I also like how Cole's his own fucking light bulb. Now, this is an interesting thing. They see you? I need to turn on the substation. Are you out of your damn mind? The Reapers will kill my wife. No one is getting in here. Open the door. Screw you! I've jammed this thing up tight. No one is getting in or out until she's safe. Poor guy. Still thinks he's protecting Lene. Doesn't change the fact that I need to get in there. I can either fry him and open the door that way, or tell him that his wife is dead. See if that gets him to back off. So basically, shoot him, or walk up and push the triangle button. Lene is dead. They shot her. How do you know her name? I know this is hard. I saw her. I knew I shouldn't have trusted him. Dude, I'm so sorry, Lene. Listen to me. I've seen what you can do. You have to kill them. All of them. Promise me. I'll do what I can. Good actions, Ace. Yeah, so we get more good karma, but I believe we're probably at our limit soon. Yes, there's a limit in this game, and it's one of the stupidest things. Um, it's kind of stupid, but basically, they want to limit you from going batshit insane and getting, like, you know, the best fucking, like, hero type stuff, even though it costs, like, thousands. They don't want you to train up forever to get that, and it, it sucks, but you get over it. So then, something I didn't really talk about yet, but, um, Pulse Heal, Bio Leech, Arc Restraints, they all have their own little thing, but there's no power-ups for them. I really don't understand why they didn't just put them all in one go, they possibly just didn't do it to make it bigger. Um... Yeah, I'll buy the Gigawatt Blades for now, why not? I'll get the uh, Electric Drain later in the future, and there's another one I want to get after that, so. <sighs> so then, now to turn the rest of this shit on, we just have to shoot this fuse box. And we're done. Woohoo!
it turns everything on and we just go straight to the top which is really cool I like how the game does that now even though we've turned on all of the electricity we actually haven't turned on all of the electricity I know that sounds a little bit weird but I'll explain in a second see this Half of the city is actually blocked off, and I believe when we restore more power, I believe we can we have to hit two areas or three more. But at the very least, we have to hit two more areas to get the city and the neon district on. So keep that in mind. Nice work. Looks like power is fully restored to North Beach. There are three more substations that are still offline, though. I'll mark them on your GPS as I find them. Awesome. So that's cool. Uh, what can we do next? Um, I'd like to do reduced damage, but I think I'm just going to get the uh, electric drain. And we have an unavailable power for the future, and something for when we get infamous in hero rank. So, and that one's actually kind of an interesting way to do stuff. Now then, I'm never going to do melee damage. I'm going to be getting the reduced damage, which in case you haven't told, the 1, 2, 3%. Or 30%. So yeah, and I'm probably never going to get the thunder drop one. I'll try to get all of them if I can, but if not, then uh, don't blame me. So woohoo, and I think I'm going to cut the video here in terms of the um, the main game uh, stuff, and now we're going to go on to the Extras Part 2 video. So yep, now Extras do not count side quests. Side quests will be a part of the main game, I don't care what anyone cares about that, so yeah. And the next main mission is High Ground. So, uh, actually, real fast, I'm probably going to go check out something. Hopefully, I cut this part out. Actually, I'm going to write that down on notes. But basically, I'm going to cut the video here, So uh, and I'll be back in a second. So, catch you guys.